Oh, things are too good right now. Something's gonna happen. Real quick before we get started, guys, don't forget the full uncut, unedited, raw reaction Shadow Hunters on my Patreon. The link will be at the top of the description. So if you want to get these episodes early and watch them along with me in their entirety, definitely check it out. Otherwise, of course, we'll still be on YouTube, just heavily, heavily edited. But then that was good in this episode, guys. It sucks how he's gonna help her and she ends up being evil. Services. On Google. A friend of you. The late Ragnar Fell. Make a person fall out of love. Is that something you could do? Oh, he's gonna do that to Chase. I can. She's gonna do it to Chase. But I don't recommend it. His obsession is starting to distract him from <sighs> his duties and well, I worry. <clears throat> what could happen if he can't? She's sure like compelling though. Dude, he's gonna feel so bad when he finds out who it's actually for. Tiny sliver of your soul. <laughs> oh man. So what's she gonna do? Kidnap Clary to try and get part of her soul? Whatever's happening to you, we're gonna figure it out together. How does he not remember that split second when I'm he saw that woman? Thinking of going to the city of bones for treatment. Uh, but I don't I wouldn't be against that though. At least it would keep him away from there. Because I'm sure they wouldn't let him get out if he was being mind controlled. Jace, the clave would deem you so just for duty. Not try. And what it. choice do I have? <laughs> Better. It's just I was thinking that it wouldn't be an issue if I didn't have to go back and forth so much. He wants to move I mean, in. I spend almost every night here. So, what, what if, if I, I move in? moved in? Yes. Oh, he doesn't like to have that idea. Though. No, our relationship will change. Yeah. Will be even closer. There's no such thing. Okay, but he's there all the There's time one anyway. Thing I've learned in the course of my long life, it's to take your time. Okay. I guess that would apply though if he wasn't already sleeping there every single night. I was supposed to play a show tonight, but my manager called me. I want to see them become friends. I don't have a manager, and I actually really needed that money. Is he? Is there something going on? Oh, is she going on a date with that doctor? I'm going out tonight with the doctor. I can't go to the Citadel. What's this all about? She gonna tell him. Kiddo, it's me. You can talk to me about anything. Damn, but the more that people know, the more likely it is to get out. And we all know it's gonna get out at some point. Raziel was right in front of me. I did the only thing oh I could. You have Raziel bring him back? I had no choice. Hell yeah, she did. She can communicate with the angels, right? She can ask Ethereal for help. D yeah, but then we have to trust her with it, and she's could not be trusted. Is that Clary's? Find Clary Fairchild Shit. and bring me a sliver of her soul. Is all this stuff yours? No, it's Kyle's. So is the sweet Les Paul. See, this is like the perfect apartment for me, right? Yeah. Oh, he's on to him. Oh, don't snoop. Alec. Hmm. If anything will keep me safe, it's this picture. He shouldn't be looking through his stuff, though. Oh, wow. You're <laughs> telling me this guy almost runs you over, and then he, he just stopped? happens to have a room in his Can apartment, and that just yeah, happens to be kind full of, of all your favorite stuff. And what do you think this is? Okay, this looks bad, but there's a, a perfectly reasonable explanation. Hey, hey, Jace, what the hell? Get off me! That plant is Wolfsbane, Simon. But isn't that stuff bad for werewolves? Why is it growing it? And why was I he don't talking to explain to myself to you. You really yeah, should. You do. But what about me? You've been lying to me this whole time? We heard about the blast of energy Simon unleashed on Lucian Greymark's pack. So we came to investigate. The other day, when you That's ran into sad. me, sad. He that? thought he was making a friend. It doesn't seem like he's trying to hurt him, though. You call me crazy, but I tend to respect people that are honest with me. You need to yeah. calm down. Whose side are you on? No, Simon. Calm down. That thing's gonna go off. I don't know if I ever would have been able to come out at the Institute. Stop. I mean, here you are in this... He really is an ...committed relationship with a warlock. And he's running the Institute. Stopping. But as hard as I try, it will not answer. Why? I'm not certain. They don't Sometimes freaking like her. If my own irredeemable actions have severed my ties to the heavens. Hell yeah. 
I feel like I know nothing about you. I'm Except a shadow the hunter. Fact that you apparently have a thing for snakes. Is that what you do for work? Wait, is that the stone that was in her what? necklace? You mean or is jewelry? this a different? Don't lie. She's gonna lie. Yes. No. Um. I actually. I have an work Etsy home. shop. Let's go. Let me get us a wrap. She deserves to have fun for a bit, even if it's nothing serious. Oh, that thing is near her. He's gonna see her fighting this thing, I bet. Oh shit. Seriously? It's like that the dragon that multiplies and grows. Oh, boy, she's so cool. <laughs> My woman. She's gonna be even more pissed off because all her children are dying. Is this yours? Kinda looks like your style. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Alright, come on. She could easily heal herself. <laughs> the angel's gonna be pissed off, and then this freaking mama demon is gonna show up. I guess that works. Oh. I was just trying to help the homeless. Yeah, very. <laughs> no. Dick. Leave me alone. I understand the situation isn't perfect. And he's not, not trying to hurt if him. Someone's offering you help. If he. Be a fool not to take it. Has any idea what that thing is and how to help him? Why would he just run away from this idea? A brave soldier, like someone else I know. Shall I whip what? us up some cocktails? Martini Mondays. Gin or vodka? Gin. Gin. <laughs> oh, things are too good right now. Something's gonna happen. You're not jealous, are you? No, not at all. You were weird before when I asked about moving in. People he's lost, stuff of people he's lost. Each of those belonged to someone I loved and outlived. Uh, a different committed relationship for each one. And Alex's gift to him is gonna be in that box one day. <laughs> Maybe one of my arrowheads ends up in that box. Look, I don't even wanna think about you being gone. I mean, one day I will be. And you'll just move on. I'm immortal! It's not you as if I have a choice. About that. I can't change what I am and neither can you. Change Alec into a vampire. <laughs> I don't know if I could do that if I was in Alec's position. Knowing that he's going to outlive you and move on to somebody else because you're not going to live forever. That's heartbreaking. That's always going to linger in the back of his mind, even if he lets it go for the night. Yeah, poor baby. How does this work? Who do I pay? Do I pay you? Oh, no, no. Just, it's on the house. Do I pay you? Consider do my I tip way of you? saying I'm sorry. You should not be here. Sorry, I'll, I'm... Sorry to have summoned you. I, I understand if you're angry. It's all right, my child. Aww. But returning from death has left him vulnerable. You now face yeah, a greater threat why, than you realize. That's why she's able to get I, in his I, head. I don't understand. A great evil has arrived in the realm of the mundane. <laughs> oh no, that's her! What the? She just slaughtered an angel. Oh shit. How do you get someone's soul, like a piece of their soul? Like by sucking out the mouth, like the succubus thing? Oh. No. If they make it so Jace falls out of love with Clary, I'm gonna be so pissed. But it would be kind of cute to see them like fall in love all over again. At least she knows now that there's somebody like that's a higher power than the owl. I'm not over the fact that you lied to me, but I'm willing to give you a chance. You wanna help me? I'm in. But only on my terms. That's not how it's the gotta works. be. That's too bad. Yeah, I'm too still bad. gonna go on living my either, life. Yeah. So either you can help or you can go back to wherever the praetors come from. You can come along with me and do your job, or you can not do your job at all. Whatever you wanna do. It's nothing. I hope at the end he like it's becomes nothing. a vampire or something that makes him live. Can you turn someone into a warlock? Is that possible? Just stuff with Magnus. I've decided to go to the Silent City for treatment. You were the one who told me I needed to get some help. I hope he does so that the freaking woman can't get to him and wipe his love for Clary away. I'll be by your side the whole time. Aww. He loves him so much. I hope he gets there before that woman comes to wipe his love. Oh my god. I don't oh, know. This is so nice. Could you do a girl a favor and get me one of those? Oh no. I love to. Why doesn't he recognize but her? I don't think my girlfriend would like that very much. Let's get one more. She's gonna put it in a string. No! To 
Oh my god. He saw her before he snapped into it last episode. Why didn't he recognize her? No. No. Do you have to drink all of it for it to work? How do you feel? Like a new man. No. D no. Does that mean he's going to like literally have to fall in love with her all over again? And this is like starting from the very beginning. They've come so far. There better be a way to undo it. There better be. All right, there you go. That's season three, episode five of Shadowhunters. I loved this episode. I thought it was so good. The St Simon storyline, the Clary storyline, everything was so good. Magnus and Alec are breaking my heart. So I completely understand where Alec is coming from. I know that it's so easy for Magnus to be like, well, this is our reality, so deal with it. Let's just live in the now. But he needs to understand that he might have gone through this already with other people, but this is new to Alec. This is something that he's never experienced, and he's going to be heartbroken over it. And I just hope that there's some way in the end of the series that they're going to make it so either Magnus becomes human, but I don't want that because Magnus is like just ma so Magnus. He thrives from being a warlock. So I hope that maybe Alec becomes a vampire i don't think they can make him a warlock i don't think you could be made a warlock right you have to have like a demon parent so like maybe i don't know if werewolves live forever i don't think they do but like just something to make him immortal or just a spell that makes him an immortal shadow shadow hunter i don't know i just it's gonna break my heart even if we get a malik happy ending knowing that they're not gonna end up together because one of them's gonna die and it's gonna be out you know what i'm saying i don't know it just breaks my heart and even though alex's putting on a brave face and he's like oh you're right it's fine you can tell that he's hurting and he's thinking about it and all these people that magnus lost he's gonna be one in that box someday and it's that breaks my heart and the fact that magnus said like my memory's not that good i use these to remember them by so that's he's gonna be one of those people one day where alec or where Magnus doesn't really remember Alec anymore. Like, that breaks my heart. So we find out that Simon's roommate is pretty much in some weird werewolf people. I don't know. And he his job was pretty much to monitor Simon. And Simon feels super betrayed and, like, he's being spied on. Um, the guy's, like, totally overstepping. But they end up talking it out in the end with Jace's help. And Jace can say all, all he wants about how they're not friends. But he cares about Simon. He goes out of his way to help him. He cares about him. And they made a deal to pretty much say, like, you can monitor me, you can follow me, but you need to let me live my life and you can help from a distance. And I'm glad that they agreed on that because Simon needs that help to figure out what it is. And these people clearly know what it is and know what's going on. So I'm excited to see and find out what it is in the backstory behind it because it's clearly more than just something that detonates like anytime an enemy comes close. You know what I mean? Like, there's going to be something behind it. There has to be. Clary summoned the angel. And he came and wasn't even mad and was about to tell her who the puppet master was that's above the owl and then gets like literally gets his heart ripped out by her from behind that like freaked me out the fact that it was like this angel who just wants to help and then all of a sudden this demon lady just sticks her hand through him and rips his heart out it's like whoa that's a lot that was a lot jace has agreed to go to the city of bones and get help for whatever's going on and I don't know if he's even going to make it there because now he took this love potion that's going to make him fall out of love with Clary and not care anymore. So I don't know if he's going to even be able to think enough to go there. So I was hoping that maybe he would go there before she could get to him. So that way she could never give him the potion, but she gave it to him. So I don't know if we're going to have to watch them fall in love all over again or if they're going to be able to reverse it. Because as much, like, as cute as it would be to watch them fall in love all over again and like Nick like to know that they're just meant to be even if they get their love wiped I don't want to have to go through that again it's been three seasons of them finally being able to be together and then they just get it wiped just like that it's just annoying and I hope that there's some way to undo it there has to be some way to undo it because you always hear about like love potions and stuff in movies where they can just undo it or like you know I don't know just something to undo it but yeah, this was a really, really good episode. I actually really, really enjoyed this. Although my heart does break for Magnus and Alec. I loved the episode. I thought it was really, really good. Uh, probably like a 9.5 out of 10. Wasn't the best, so I'm not going to give it a 10 out of 10. But it was definitely really, really good. And I loved watching this. I cannot wait to see the rest of the season. I have enjoyed this season so much. And I'm halfway through it. So hopefully I can get caught up in time. If not, it'll be like 
after the first episode, I'll be caught up. But yeah, really enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.